My name is Fergus Shanahan. I'm director of the Alimentary Pharmabiotic Centre, a digestive disease centre at the University College Cork in Ireland. And together with my colleague Michael Marr, director of radiology at our centre, we have prospectively evaluated low radiation protocols uh, whereby patients uh, receive CT scanning but with greatly reduced radiation exposure and we evaluated this in comparison with conventional dose CT scanning and effectively showed that it is possible to reduce radiation exposure by over 70 percent whilst maintaining diagnostic accuracy. We had become aware that while CT scanning has revolutionized the management of patients with Crohn's disease, uh, particularly in relation to ruling out coincidental abscess formation and other complications of Crohn's disease, but this comes with a cost, namely increased radiation exposure. And it has become clear that patients, particularly young patients, are at potential risk of cancer formation as, as a result of radiation exposure. So we decided to do something about this and what we did uh, was a study published in Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology in the March issue of 2012 where we used new computer software to reduce the radiation exposure uh, from CT scanning whereby we can reconstruct images from lower radiation exposures and achieve high quality images without loss of diagnostic accuracy. The problem that occurs when you reduce radiation exposure is that the images become grainy and less pretty essentially. But in Crohn's disease we don't need pretty images, we just need diagnostic accuracy. And we took 50 patients prospectively in a controlled trial whereby patients gave informed consent and on the same day the same patients, the same scanner, same level of disease activity, we did two tests. We did a conventional CT scan and we also did the low-dose scan uh, with reduced radiation but with the enhanced computer software images. And it showed over those 50 patients that we lost no diagnostic accuracy when we were looking for abscess formation, coincidental tumor formation, disease distribution, other complications such as fistulas. The low-dose scan was equally effective, equally accurate and missed nothing that was clinically important. Now I'd like to show you some examples from those images. The first slide shows a patient uh, with a fistula between the ilium and the sigmoid. It's very evident on the conventional scan. But if you look at the low-dose scan, the images are a little more grainy if you look over the liver, but the essential finding is still there. You can still see quite clearly the fistula formation. And this was achieved with a 72% reduction in radiation exposure. The next image shows a patient who was on uh, immunomodulatory uh, treatment, came in with what appeared to be a relapse of disease, but in actual fact the scan, the conventional scan shows uh, the presence of an abscess. And you can see this is clearly outside the lumen of the bowel. The abscess, abscess is very evident, but it's also evident on the low-dose scan, again with a 70 to 80 percent reduction in radiation exposure for that patient. And the final image is a patient who had Crohn's disease and we were looking for disease distribution because she was having a relapse of symptoms but the scan picked up a coincidental tumour in the cervix. You can see it quite clearly uh, with the arrow in the pelvis here on the conventional scan. However, the low-dose scan was equally effective at picking this up. In fact, no patient had a significant finding that was missed on the low-dose scan. So I must emphasize this is acute Crohn's where we already know the diagnosis. Now, where is this work leading? Well, with the very latest computer software, it's possible to even push the radiation dose lower again. And in fact, we are getting down to radiation doses from these diagnostic tests that approach those and, even, and even get below those used for plain film of the abdomen, the standard KUB, if you will, the plain film of the abdomen that's done so commonly in emergency rooms. We would contest that if you really want the information, you can have a CT at the same radiation dose or lower than you'd get with a plain film of the abdomen, and that is where this work is leading.